Let's say I'm on a software team building a fintech app and we're building a new identity verification flow. And I'm using magic patterns to save money on designs and rapidly iterate. But the problem is most design tools don't output consistent designs. For example, I have this sign up page, but I really want it to look like this with full functionality. And the good news is magic patterns can do this pretty easily. And I'm going to show you how we can get multiple designs and then get a working prototype that demonstrates clicking around and even some basic functionality. So let's get started. The first step is importing your existing designs or getting design inspiration from any website. So because I work for a FinTech app, I'm gonna get some design inspiration from Robinhood. And I'm using the Magic Patterns Chrome extension to do that, which lets me grab the snippet, an HTML snippet from any website. Now I'm going to create a Magic Patterns project. And so I'm gonna create a new project and I'm gonna call this King's Bank. And that will take the imported design and put it into my project. And now we can go back and also take that sign up flow that we created earlier by going down here to import from URL and importing that. Or of course, I could import it from my list. Now that I have this, I'm going to show you referencing, which is the key to making designs consistent in Magic Patterns. I can basically select two of, the, two of these and click reference down here in the bottom and I can say using reference one make me a sign up page. And it's generating here which will take one second. Awesome. And now you'll see that we have a new design and actually we can even go in here and edit this further. For example, because we use Robinhood as a reference, it brought over the Robinhood text, but we can click on here, click edit code or chat to update and change this to King's Bank. The last thing I'm going to show you is prototyping, where I can take one design, move to prototyping mode, and then I can link, for example, this contact support card to my contact support page. And now what that looks like is when I hit the play button here, you'll see now when I click contact support, it takes me to that new page. So when I go back and show you my prototype for my identity verification flow, I click launch prototype. You'll see here designs are interactive because they're all based in code and I now have my entire flow that I can share with another software engineer, a design agency, or just copy the code directly.